What's up guys this is Manas Patnaik and today we are going to be dealing with pentagonal pyramid. So let's get started with the problem itself and here it goes. A pentagonal pyramid base 25 mm side and axis 50 mm long has one of its triangular faces in the HP and the top view of the axis um, makes an angle of 45 degrees with the VP. Draw its projection. Now guys if you have seen my previous video on uh, projection of solids and that also was based on pentagonal pyramid but in that case there was this condition given to us that one of its triangular faces was lying in the VP alright but as far as this particular question is concerned its triangular face is in the HP okay in that case we initially we kept it standing on VP and in this case we're gonna initially keep this standing on HP alright I'm gonna show you how all these things will be implemented so let's get started and let's extract data now now the object obviously is a pentagonal pyramid this is what you call a pentagonal pyramid all the sides are 25 mm each and the height of okay or the axis length has been given as 50 millimeters now there is one such triangular face which is in absolute contact with the horizontal plane all right so that is something which will be implemented in step number two and in step number three we've got to make sure that the top view of the axis makes 45 degree angle with the vp okay now fine uh, let's write down all these conditions that has been given to us um, condition is triangular face in the HP all right and apart from this there is one more thing which we need to ensure that the axis top view angle made by the top view of the axis with the vertical plane is represented by beta and hence uh, beta top view axis is given as 45 degree so this was all about extracting data from the problem now in the next section guys stay tuned because there I'm going to demonstrate as to how this particular object that's a pentagonal pyramid has been really kept with reference to the horizontal as well as vertical plane so stay tuned alright guys so this is the object under consideration and this in fact is a pentagonal pyramid and you can see this has a pentagonal shaped base and this is the center point of this pentagon and from this point to this point we have the axis now let us see condition number one and before that let me give you a perspective you guys are watching this from the top and top view is obtained on a horizontal plane so this white sheet of paper that you see is the horizontal plane and everything that I'm gonna draw over here corresponds to the top view now we have been said that one of its triangular faces let's say this triangular face is resting on the HP something like this okay triangular face is resting on the HP all right so this is going to be happening in step number two and in step number three we have to make sure that the top view of the axis now axis is going to be starting from this point this uh, pink dot you see to this point top view of the axis is going to make a certain angle with the vertical plane in step number three we're going to do this okay and this is the angle if you say that this is over here it represents the XY line the top view is going to make a certain angle okay this is going to be beta and this is how we need to keep it in step number three all right guys so this was all about the orientation step number three this is going to be step number two something like this all right step number two and this is going to be step number one please watch this carefully this over here we will have the XY line and this is going to be a perpendicular line we will keep this edge over here and then correspondingly we can draw the remaining pentagon something like this alright step 1 step 2 triangular face on the horizontal plane and in step 3 we need to do this okay top view of the axis making an angle with the vertical plane all right so these are the three steps which we're going to be implementing so guys now we're going to see how all these things can be implemented on a plain sheet of paper let's get started now we are going to make this construction in three simple steps in step number one we are going to assume that the solid is resting with its base on the horizontal plane and hence the true shape of the base will be seen from the top so let us draw this top view okay something like this and this is going to be um, a to B it's gonna be 25 millimeters let me write it down okay now the internal angles of a pentagon are 108 degrees all right so from both the ends 108 in the anti-clockwise ends from here and 108 in the clockwise ends from this point B all right the next step is to put two arcs one from this guy as the center over here okay and that arc is going to have a radius of 25 millimeters similarly one more arc has to be put up to intersect the arc that has been already put up something like this okay first arc and second arc and this is the intersection point and then you can join this point with this E and C something like this all right so now you can see we have all the points named up five corners A B C D E right we shall have the apex somewhere here and for locating the apex please uh, remember this let us suppose that we have this corner D and opposite to this D corner we have A B let us say this is the center of A B somewhere here okay you can mark a point you will join it 
okay from d to the center similarly let us say this e point and opposite to this e point we have p c okay b c is going to have a center and we join that center with point e okay on doing so these two lines are going to intersect at a certain point something like this this is going to be the line from um, d o until we reach here and this is going to be line from e something like this and it's going to end up here okay but we're going to stop over here only because this intersection point will give us the exact location of the apex something like this and then you can join this apex with e b and a something like this all right now we're going to look at this object from the front and let's draw these so called projector lines this is going to be this is b a this is going to be a dash comma b dash okay this will be c dash e dash and this is going to be d all right let's draw this line okay so this dark portion you see is from b c and d this is dark portion is b c and d now as far as the axis length is concerned it has been clearly given as 50 mm so this is the point for axis and from this point you need to go upstairs by an amount of 50 mm okay so this is the axis and this is going to be point o dash for you all right now when you are looking at this object right from the front this slant edge from bo co and do are going to be visible and hence have to be drawn in front view with the help of solid lines all right so step number 1 is over and in step number one, we assume that the solid is resting with its base on HP. Okay. And as far as step two is concerned, we've got to make sure that one of its triangular faces, let's say, for example, this triangular face OAB shall be in absolute contact with the horizontal plane. So in step number two, what we'll be doing is you can clearly see this OAB triangular face appears as a line in front view. Okay. So we are going to recreate this step number one into step number two, making sure that this line entirely overlaps this XY line. And when it does so, we can say with utmost confidence that this triangular face is in the HP. Okay. So let's do that. And first of all, I'll be creating this point over here, somewhere here. All right. O dash. So we have this point O dash. Now keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. And with this guy's center, you need to put an arc, something like this. And this is going to be point A dash comma B dash. All right. Now we need point D. Okay. So point D is going to lie somewhere here. Now keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. And then with this guy as center, you need to put an arc. All right. That's the arc. And this is the arc along which we're going to find point D. Now, again, for point locating exactly point D, we need to take arc here again from this point O dash to D dash. And with O dash as center, we'll cut an arc over here, something like this. And this over here, guys, is point D. Let's join them. All right. Now we need this C dash comma E dash again. It's very simple. You need to keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here that is at C dash or D E dash. Then with respect to this point, you need to put an arc again. Okay. So this over here guys is C dash comma E dash. Okay. And this axis point at the base is going to be again with the help of arcs, you can look at, locate this also. Okay. Something like this. This is going to be the axis point. All right. So now that we have successfully created the front view in step number two, we are going to look at this object from the top that is from here. Okay. So let's bring the projector lines downwards and let's extend this projector lines from the uh, top view of step number one into step number two, something like this. Okay. Now the, there are going to be intersection points. So guys, this line is meant for O and D. So O is going to lie here and D is going to lie here. Similarly, you can have point A. So this line is for point A and A is going to A is vertical is this. So this is going to be point A point C's line horizontal line is over here and point C's vertical line is here. So this is going to be point C. All right. So all these points can be worked out. Okay. So this is how we get this. And when you are looking at this object from the top, this line, you see this exactly is not a line. This in fact is a pentagon. Okay. So it's true shape cannot be seen from the top. Okay. I mean the way this pentagonal pyramid has been kept. Um, in such case, it's true shape cannot be seen, but this pentagon will appear as a squeezed up pentagon, something like this from the top. All right. Now this H D dash O dash is going to be visible. This C dash O dash will be visible. This E dash O dash will be visible. And it's going to look something like this. Okay. E O D O and C O. The slant edges guys, which cannot be seen are to be given some respect and they can be drawn by the help of hidden lines. So this is what the hidden line that I was talking about. And, and you can clearly see that this line O, da o dash A dash B dash is resting on X, Y and it's corresponding top view O, A, B. Okay. Clearly shows that. Okay. That means the triangular face is in the HP. In the next step, we need to make sure that the top view of the axis, now axis starts from this point in the front to this point in the front. That means axis starts from this point in the top until we reach here, this point in the top. 
okay so this top view of the axis has to be kept at an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane and that's exactly what i call beta so any inclination uh, with respect to the top axis is referred to by beta so initially i'll draw a line over here at an angle of 45 degree all right and then this rectangle you see okay this rectangle you have to make this rectangle okay at an angle of 45 degree let me explain you how that can be done so this axis over here is supposed to be kept at 45 degrees now if the axis is at 45 degrees then one thing is for sure that this edge of this rectangle this edge of this rectangle all right is also going to be inclined at 45 degrees all right so let me create this rectangle so this edge has been kept at an angle of 45 degrees or this edge this edge okay then eventually we will have this top view of axis over here which also would get inclined at an angle of 45 degrees okay that's basic now let's have this point o somewhere here all right and then let's have this point b and a now for locating point b and point a we need to keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here similarly that same radius can be worked out for a point also and with this guy ascent you need to put an arc and with this guy ascent you need to again put an arc so the these two points are corresponding to b and a so this is going to be b and this is going to be a all right similarly point c has to be worked out with this guy as center and with this much as the radius all right same radius is going to be for e also then with this as center you need to put an arc with this as center we, you need to put an arc something like this this is going to be point c and this is going to be point e all right now the only point left is this point e so you can clearly see that this uh, line has a center somewhere here and this line also has a center in the form of o so let's join these two centers with the help of a line something like this now with o as center and with od as the radius you need to put, keep one leg of your compass here and then put make an arc and this is going to be point d for you so we're going to create these uh, solid lines in this uh, recreation in step number 3 stop view okay same stuff all right exactly the same way we did here now we are going to look at this object from the front and let's have the projector lines initially okay from the bottom and then let's have the projector lines from the left of your screen towards the right of your screen and then let's uh, make sure where these points intersect you can clearly see that this horizontal line is for d let's see where the vertical for d is so vertical for d is over here so this is the intersection point and this is going to be point d similarly you can work out point O also so this is the horizontal for o this is the vertical for o both of them are intersecting here so this is going to be point o okay and all these points can be worked out all right like this let's have all the points now when you're looking at this object from the front this pentagon you see a squeezed up pentagon is going to appear something like this let me draw this it will be visible but not in true shape but it's uh, it's going to be visible eventually all right and this C O is going to be visible and this B O is going to be visible from the front. Okay, that's why I have uh, darkened these uh, lines. Now there are certain edges which will not be visible. All right, and they have to be given some respect in the form of broken lines. So that's it, guys. All right, so guys, this in fact is uh, the projection of a pentagonal pyramid with one of its triangular faces in the horizontal plane, and correspondingly the axis top view making an angle of 45 degrees with the VP. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. So guys, this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Join us again to learn more about engineering drawing and do subscribe and keep drawing.